Not only does Joe Rogan never talk about his wife, Jessica Ditzel, on his podcast, and when I say never, I mean absolutely never, but you never even see a lot of pictures of them together. They never go to red carpet events. They never go to restaurants together. Literally, maybe three or four pictures have been taken of them in the past 10 years. Don't you think that's a little strange? Check out this rare picture of them together. You notice something? If you hadn't told me that that was Jessica Ditzel and that was his wife, I honestly would have thought that that was just some random person who walked outside right after him. And that's not a coincidence. They specifically go to places, not together. They go at different times, one after the other, and they exit at different times so as to never really be seen together so the paparazzi don't take a lot of pictures. How crazy is that? That is like clandestine level of covert operations. Now, not what you're thinking. You're probably like, well, maybe she just wants to stay out of public eye. Okay, sure. But here's where it gets strange is that Jessica Ditzel, who used to be a cocktail waitress, dated a slew of celebrities. We're talking musicians and uh, artists, singers, the most famous of which was Kevin Dino Connor, Dino Connor, who's a rapper singer of H-Town, nonetheless. They had a pretty long relationship from which he actually fathered a daughter with her that is now an adult, who Joe Rogan, I believe, adopted. Go figure. You know, they had an arrangement as well. You know, Dino slept around. It was fine. But eventually, he got a girl pregnant. That's what she decided. That's it. Had to break up. Strange thing is, you know, shortly after, uh, he died in a car accident, hit and run. They never found who did it. He was a passenger in the car. Pregnant wife was driving. They were leaving the recording studio when the accident happened. Pretty crazy. But that's conspiracy level thing, or just a tidbit of trivia. The weird thing is the type of person that Jessica went for when she was younger. She had a specific type that was not Joe Rogan. And then as she got older, she met Joe, decided to settle down. She wanted a couple more kids, which they did have a couple more kids. And now they have this very strange marriage, this kind of open. Each one of them do whatever they want. As a matter of fact, Jessica spends the majority of her time not even in Texas with Joe. She spends it in California. A lot of people wonder, why haven't they just got divorced? Why don't they just do this? It's like... You know, Joe left California to save 10 to 15% on taxes. Do you think he wants to give up 50, 60% of his net worth to his wife? I could be, especially after that shop, not Shopify, that Spotify, 100, $150 million deal. Of course not. He wants to preserve the money. They have kids, so they stay together with kids, but they each do whatever they want. Just the whole thing that kind of shocked me, I guess, is just this image that I have of Joe, because Joe always talks negatively about marriage. You know, he always is warning people about marriage, about, you know, spousal support, all this kind of different stuff, right? So you have this picture in your mind of Joe, and then you realize that, wow, you know, he's kind of a cautionary tale for marriage, you know? He got a girl that probably would have never dated him if he didn't have money or status when she was younger, even if he had money or status. She wouldn't have dated him when they were younger. But as she got older and was a single mom, jumped, got married to Joe, and now they live pretty much like an estranged couple. And this is why you never see pictures of them together. This is why he's never bragging about his wife. He might mention his kids now and then, but the wife, he never talks about. Why? Because there's nothing to brag about. This is a sad reality. This is why I talk. You got to be careful who you marry. You got to be careful because you can be deceived. I mean, I'm sorry, Joe, but he's not uh, Kevin uh, Dean O'Connor, all right? Although he's far richer and more successful, you know. But you know what they say, maybe tastes change as you get older, you change. First you like chocolate ice cream, then maybe later you like uh, cookies and cream. I don't know. Maybe that's all there is to it. Anyway, this is not all speculation. Like I said, these rumors of them having an open relationship has circulated quite a bit in the comedy circles. I've heard it over and over. But it's not something that a lot of people come out and talk about because Joe has a lot of influence within these circles. Your career, if you're a comedian, is make, you, he can make it or break it just by having you on his podcast. So nobody's out there talking shit. And, you know, it's really nobody's business if they have an open relationship or whatever. The only reason I'm talking about it is because I am an attention <laughs> of course. And I think, like, it's something I was curious about. Maybe other people are curious about. And I don't know. I like the truth. Like, if you told me, do I want to live in denial or I want to know the truth. I was all like to know the reality of this person that I listen to every day. This Joe. I listen to podcasts all the time. I'd like to know really what's going on. Why doesn't he talk about his wife? Why does he say these negative things about marriage? You know, well, I want to know. And this is the truth. Now you know. So maybe it's none of my business, but you know, I made it my business. And that's the video. So that's one thing. I like Joe. 
but I pretty much know that by doing this video, I have written off any chance of ever being a guest on his podcast or, you know, having an amicable conversation with him, because I'm sure he's, he's going to hate this, but there it is. And if you guys need, like, references of people who have said this, you know, I've get a ton of messages, I've talked, I've gotten it, I've heard it from, uh, I've heard it from a lot of people, okay, but... I probably shouldn't even have said that. But anyway, there it is. What do you guys think about Joe uh, and his, uh, you know, the reason he talks about his family? Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, buy red and sell green.